I don't really have words to describe this. I was expecting to... I've been told that it would be intense, but I didn't expect to reach the finish line at 20 knots with such wind. No more propeller on the engine, so it kind of a rock and roll ascent, and mostly to see as many people. So many people at once after three months of solitude. A real delight, in fact. It's a real, a true deliverance. I mean, I didn't feel imprisoned. I felt good on the boat. But it's a real treat of life. I don't think we're made to live alone. We're gregarious life. And I have my kids who've grown over these last three months. And I was kind of anxious not seeing them grow. I have to shave, which I had forgotten. I hope, I dreamt of being among the first ten in this Vendée Globe. So to end up seventh with six exceptional sailors ahead of me, with fantastic boats, and great champions, I'm really, really proud to be here. In fact, ever since high school and college, I've always, and then also in my professional career, I've given the most so that I could be left in peace. So there I did my most until about the middle of the Indian Ocean. There wasn't a minute of sleep where I didn't have the main sheet rolled up my wrist to unfold because I was pulling hard on the boat and to distance the same generation boats as mine. And it paid off. I found myself totally alone after the second half of the Indian Ocean. I spent a whole month and a half absolutely fantastic working my trajectories without any pressure and the seventh place which I'm mostly pleased with. The next Vendée Globe, yes, the next Vendée Globe 2020-2021, we're going to have a great machine, Puro Valley. The team has already brought to Lorient. It's Armel's ancient Banque Populaire that made an amazing race. And in four years, we'll be back with all this experience, with a real potential for victory.